bam, this badass STI intake manifold. I'm getting ready to put this on my STI motor, but before I do that, I want to talk to you about fuel delivery and parallel flow versus stock flow. I have a little diagram here that will help us understand it. This will be the stock, this will be the parallel. You have a fuel tank in the back of your, you know, in the back of your car, pump in the fuel tank. The pump pumps fuel from the fuel tank up to the front of the car, right? So in a stock system, that fuel actually comes into the engine compartment. Bam. Okay. And then comes out of this first fuel rail and then goes in over here to the second fuel rail. It goes in the first fuel rail, comes out of the first fuel rail, goes in the second fuel rail, hits a fuel pressure regulator, and then from the fuel pressure regulator, it'll get regulated to about 25 or 30 PSI, and then the outlet from that goes back to your gas tank. So that's your return line to your gas tank. The problem with this is that when you are running at high RPM, and the fuel pressure here will be higher than the fuel pressure over here. And if the fuel pressure at this last injector is lower, that actually means it'll push less fuel into your combustion chamber, and it'll cause a lean condition. And a lean condition leads to pre-ignition and destroying your pistons, knocking out your bearings, knocking off your, breaking your rings, breaking your ring lands, and things like that. Any condition that will lead to a lean fire condition, it can, and that can go to pre-ignition and it can destroy engines. So it's a huge preventative thing for any high horsepower motor is to make sure you don't ever go into a lean condition. So that's what the parallel fuel system is all about. You have a line coming in again from your gas tank, but you hit a Y splitter. That Y splitter puts one line to the front of one fuel rail and the other side will go to the front of the other fuel rail. Two fuel lines going into both fuel rails with the same pressure and coming out of both fuel rails going into a regulator. So that's basically how it works. I'll give you a quick rundown on what I got on my engine, right? On my on my intake manifold. So this is my STI intake manifold. Uh, it's going on my JDM STI motor there behind me. That's 95 STI motor. It's a version 2 EJ20G motor. So uh, it'll be making maybe about 285 horsepower uh, at the crank. I believe. Here's my antique manifold. It looks fairly stock, but it's actually not. It looks like I have the stock hard lines. Uh, I painted them black. I repainted this thing with a crinkle coat. But the stock lines are actually cut right here and right here, if you can see. I'm going to use this aftermarket. It's actually a stainless steel Y splitter. So I'm going to have this in my engine bay right mounted somewhere about here. Incoming fuel hits, a, hits this side, splits the incoming fuel line into two. So you can have even fuel pressure going to both fuel rails. That's basically the system in a nutshell. So this is the final piece in the system, an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator. Um, you know, out of both fuel rails, you'll have that outcoming fuel line. Uh, and that outgoing fuel line will go to your fuel pressure regulator on both sides here. You can adjust the pressure on the top here. And then this will be your return line that will go back to your gas tank. It's really that simple. And you have a little port right here. That port in the middle is actually for a fuel pressure gauge, so you can use a fuel pressure gauge too. That's it in a nutshell, really. If you want to do a parallel fuel system, those are like the three or four things you need. It's pretty straightforward. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I'm Luke with Super Only. That's it. Thanks.